Hello everyone, and welcome back to Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. Um, so I did a couple more practice rounds with Yuhura here. Um, actually getting really good at this. Um, I can get it. So the reason I wanted to uh, challenge her was because I wanted to show you some of the like new abilities that I now have. Um, <coughs> For example, if I block an attack, I can now use a counter attack. <coughs> Just like that. <laughs> um, I still can't, like, do the... There it goes. I did it all on time there. Ow. I can't do that yet. I can't do the, like, multi-swing attack yet. Where, like, if I get a hit off, I can, like, swing... And then, like, do multiple swings in a row. But, that's because I haven't built my... I've been building my parry up a lot. I haven't really built up my weapon use much. So, oh my god. And really, like, does it really matter when my freaking parry is allowing me to just kill everything? <laughs> I mean, look at how much damage I'm dealing to Yuhura here. I've beaten her twice now. Um, I'm gonna try to beat her here again for you guys real fast. Um, that way you can see me defeat Yuhura here. Ow. Figures, as soon as I do it on recording, that's when I'm gonna end up losing. Isn't it? And my stamina is not the greatest level right now. So, oh my god, it's that, it's when she parries my swing after I've parried her, that's when I get freaking messed up real bad. Therosaurus is strong but stupid, it takes a while before it knows it's dead. <sighs> Alright, well I didn't end up beating her. Um, but I did beat her a couple of times before, so as you can see, I have a parry, new parry skill of 145, <coughs> which is fantastic. Um, I think this is a good spot to, uh, move on at this point. I've done so much training. Oh no, I don't have the stamina for this. I challenge you all to avoid your skill versus skill. Who will dare to follow where I lead across this narrow path of rope? Who will risk a dinar in his very life that he may gain five dinars in return? So this is something I have to do. Well, it's not something I have to do. You, stranger from a distant land, are you brave and skilled enough to cross the rope? Will you wager with me? I might as well give it a one try. I don't know if I can do this, considering my stamina is currently at zero, but I'm most brave. Let's see if you are skilled as well. As I behold, I can just cross right across. So, I'm no thief, so I'm probably not going to do very well. So, left arrow to step forward, down arrow to lean left, up arrow to lean right, right arrow to hold position. I'll walk across the rope. Uh, walk across the rope and correct any tilting by tapping the appropriate key to lean in the opposite direction. It's the hold position option in emergencies, but avoid using it too often. Oh, frick. <laughs> I'm starting to learn balance. Water skins are getting very light. Better find some water soon. So, what skill is this going to be leveling? I have no idea. Uh, we've just got a couple of dinars. So I might as well give this a couple of tries. Oh. I've done this multiple times before. It's not too hard. It's just a matter of hitting the right key at the right moment. Darn it. I was already halfway across, too. That was much better. Things take practice though. Right, I've got 14 dinars. So what skill is this changing? Agility, I should have guessed. So yeah, actually, th this is good training. 
Let's do this a little bit more. This guy does pop up every once in a while and set his little stand up here. Oh, no, 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 there we go. No! Oh no, oh shoot, I corrected too much. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Still going strong here. Oh shoot, oh shoot, okay. Oh, wait, no! Frick. I was almost there too. <laughs> You'll soon be making a profit off of me. Hey, if we spend five dinars to then get five dinars, but then we manage it every time after, I mean... We'll end up gaining in the end. So a lot of the trick here is just not to go too fast. And really, since we're a fighter, we won't have to do this part of the game where we have to walk the tightrope later on. But still. Ooh, come on! Right at the end! Yes! Whew! I collected five dinars. You cannot get off so easily. Let's test the rope again that I may regain my lost dinars. <sighs> so this does boost your agility, which is a great way to do it. Um, and of course, agility is one of the stats that goes into stamina, so... Maybe that's vitality, vitality and strength, something like that. I don't remember fully. Oh no! Shoot! No! Gosh dang it! I told you it only took practice. All right. <laughs> We're gonna get this. Hang on there. Let me tell you, I done this multiple times before and it is not easy but it's a good way to learn the system because if you are playing a thief um, you will end up in circuses and beach movies they use a net Gee, you didn't even reach the end of your rope oh dear so in that case I lost those few parry points I didn't realize that I was taking damage when I fell Oops. Well, okay, well, we're back to here. That's alright, we didn't gain anything anyway when we did that last battle, so. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it with that because I have no stamina. Um, well, actually, no, now I have stamina because I didn't waste it all on that other fight. But I think I'm just going to leave it here. I'm not going to bother with that any further. <coughs> so. Um, but yeah, uh, at this point, we're pretty much good to go fight against monsters and stuff outside. Um, I think I'll come back to the Catasdale Inn. You will be seated, and you will see my shaman dance. Oh, is it night already? Oh yeah, sunset approaches. Oh, I don't know. So this is really funny in the original, um, if you have the speed up. Because the flute dude here waves his head so fast. Well, I think we can see why this dance was a dance of, uh, um, fertility. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah. That dance, yo. You applaud long and hard for your friend Shema's dancing prowess. Yay. She dances fantastically. Um, there's nothing else to... Um, alright, let's see. Uh, 
uh, ashtray of Shapir. I think he said that one. I don't think it allowed me to do anything. Nope. Okay. Eh, oh well. Ah, Honest Ellie's Usaurus. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. Although for the life of me, I can't imagine why. <coughs> I'm Ellie Fakir. Honest Ellie Fakir. Welcome to Honest Ellie Fakir's Usaurus slot. If we don't have the source you want, then you don't want one. Of course, even if you don't want one, I'll be happy to sell you one. Sell one to you. You look like a man looking for a source. I have the finest saddle source you can find. A magnificent saddle source. If you ride one, that's exactly what you get. You never know when a source might come in handy. Why, just the other day you were thinking to yourself, Self, you thought, if only I had someone to play pinnacle with. If you had a source, you still couldn't play pinnacle. You couldn't even pronounce it. It just goes to show you, and speaking of shows, if I got the source for you, the thesaurus, that's where you look for synonyms. And speaking of sin, when it comes to sources, well, let's just say keep your personal preferences a secret, shall we? They don't call it source Rex for nothing. <laughs> so this guy, this is probably the single most important thing in the game. Buying the Saurus. After all we've been through to come to an agreement and you have the nerve not to have enough money, what you need is a loan. That's why I'll be leaving you until you come up with the cash. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to, like, finagle him. I'm Ali Fakir. Honest Ali Fakir. Honest Ali T. Fakir. I bet you don't know what the T stands for. Edgar. But you were close enough. My name is Honest Ali Fakir. Pleased to meet you. Personally, I'm a merchant. I sell sources. I'm a local source source. Would you be interested in buying one? I can make you a deal on a late model with all the options on in. Options like saddle, bridle, to beat. I've seen an awful lot of sources. I've seen a lot of awful sources. The sources. The source is... <laughs> oh my god. The ship of the desert. And you can't ship it far enough to suit me. All the source takes is a little grass, say a bale, some water, around 20 gallons, and a little love and it will follow you anywhere, which can get mighty embarrassing at times, believe me. <laughs> Picture yourself mounting your very own source for the first time. You get up, you fall off, and you mount up again and sit proud in the saddle, knowing you can ride with the best of them. Ah, I wondered when we could get around to a reasonable question. Do you have any idea how much a source is worth? What price galore? What price glory? <laughs> Never mind that now. I'll be happy to sell you a source for a hundred dinars. I'll sell for fifty. Shapir is God's country, and he can have it. I've worked in the fountain, but I'm no sort of jerk. Anyway, I certainly seem to be a fountain of information for you. Ah, fair Dinozad. She'll change your heart and steal your she'll change your money and steal your heart. Or is it the other way around? Steal one kiss from her and you'll probably be missing your eye teeth. Actually, one kiss from her and you won't notice you that your eye teeth are missing. Now that's what I call a woman. Ah money, the sound of centimes, the dean of dinars, music to my ears. Speaking of money, would you happen to be interested in making an investment in the future? You could contribute to the Used Source Seller's Retirement Fund. This is your chance. All you need to do is contribute and I'll throw in a Used Source. Better yet, buy the Source in the first place and then I'll retire. <coughs> I've played in the palace before the Queen. Fortunately, the King wasn't around. If you think that's insulting, you haven't heard anything yet. To travel the desert around here, you need a good source. A good source will never desert you. However, the source I have for you is your just desserts. Greetings, my good friend. I'm Honest Ali Fakir, and this is my short-term Shapirian source shop. If it's sho source shop you're after, then I'm not your man. Go see a butcher. Nevertheless, I'm holding a sale in which I'm set on settling, selling my sole remaining source to some susceptible schmuck. This is truly your lucky day. Um, so somehow there's a way to lower the price, but I don't actually know how. Maybe if I say no.
I don't think I typed the L. Was that no I want to buy a source? Or I know I want to buy a source. You're really not too you really got to pronounce things clearly, you know, or maybe you don't. At any rate, I'm here to sell you a source and you're ready to buy it, right? No. Let's get the story straight. I want to buy a Saurus, and I'm trying to sell you one. Does that make sense to you? No. <laughs> Alright, so let's try it this way. I've got the Saurus for you, and you're looking for the words to say how much you want him. That's why you need the Saurus, of course. So what do you say? Shall we shake hands and call it a deal? No. You know, I'd be willing to buy the Saurus for you at this point, as long as it runs away with you on it. Oh, okay. That's not how you change the uh, price. That's interesting. Maybe they changed that. So you can't, like, change the price. Um, obviously we don't have 50 dinars. And I'm not in the best condition to go, uh, buying stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and save Saurus. Because you have a certain amount of times so that you can walk by the sky. Um, without, uh... Or before the game's like, okay, you have to buy the source now, or otherwise you're just screwed. And I don't want to be screwed. <laughs> so, sleep until morning. We'll go refill our water skin. And if we can find some brigands, we'll easily be able to make a decent amount of money. Welcome, hero. Um, that requires us to find some brigands. I had to stop and eat some, some breakfast. I forgot to eat dinner the previous day, actually. Um, I wonder if it used up any of my rations or not. Let's find out. Yes, it did. Because I forgot to eat dinner before the day was over. So that's something you always want to make sure. The poet Omar will thrill all who hear with his words of song after the setting of the sun in our own inn. Since you're my best customer, I make you a deal. I sell you a duck. I love that guy. I really do. You know, you remind me of someone I didn't sell the source to. Nah, it couldn't be. Surely someone with your brains and looks needs a source? Either that or some preschool or a plastic surgeon. So you want to buy a source, eh? I'm Fakir, Honest Ali Fakir. Glad to meet you. You've come to the right place. Honest Ali Fakir is your source slot. You don't buy one here, you don't buy one. I got a beauty of a source for you. Only had one owner, sweet little old lady who only took it out on Sundays to go drag racing. What was that dragon racing? At any rate, I'm here to sell you a source. I won't uh, sell you a source, and I won't take no for an answer. I don't know the meaning of no. I couldn't find it in the source. <laughs> I couldn't find it in the source. Wow. Brilliant. Um, alright, well, at this point, I think the only thing we can do is wait for battle. So I'll intend his evidence. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> nice. <coughs> oh my god, this guy is relentless. Nice. <coughs> Come on. Perry. <coughs> Gosh dang it, Will. Put all that practice in the Perry. <coughs> Gosh dang it. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Block the freaking attack. <coughs> These guys are highly obnoxious, let me tell you. Nice. And they don't usually hurry back. Sometimes they do. But not always. Oh my god. Stop it. Oh my god. This guy is just freaking going crazy town on me. Ow. Oh my god. Come on. Why am I having this much trouble parrying your freaking attacks? I 
put in all of that practice on Paris. I should be doing it easily. Yay! Finally. Yay, seven dinars. Alright. Better find some water soon. My water skins are empty, unfortunately. Um, well, let's head down to the oasis. And I should be able to get some water. Oh boy. Uh, quick save. Uh, Serene Scorp. Stop and eat a healing pill. Last few drops of your water skin, unfortunately. Alright. These things suck. And... Ow! He just became Scorpion Shish Kebab. So that's why I went ahead and saved that. Because I knew... Like, those things can and will just one-shot you if you're not careful. So... Ah. Dried it. Alright, cut it one more time. Just give it a quick firebolt. And that helped a little. Just keep nailing it. <clears throat> So if you watch what they do, you actually can tell like what attack they're gonna use next. Um, that, for example, when the scorpion shakes its tail like that, you know that it's just about to freaking stab you in the face. <coughs> um, so we're gonna do this. Hang on. So you really gotta like watch out for what the scorpion's doing. Cause unfortunately that is the one issue that the scorpions have is their ability to legitimately just one shot you. Like it doesn't matter how much health you have, it doesn't matter how much stamina you have, it will absolutely 110% one shot you. If it hits you when its tail is shaking there. Because that's the sign that's going to just slaughter the crap out of you. Ow. So as you can see, I'm doing a bit of attacking, blocking, dodging, everything here. But, I'm dead. I saw the tails shake and I was like, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Running. Rhythm is like tempa. Alright. So, refill my water skin and all that. Um, so, at this point, um, let me go ahead and save over this. Uh, we do have to be careful not to go back to town at the moment, just because of the fact that, uh, beard must stay. Oh, Dervis drift away. Oh, I can only get one beard. All right. Um, that was an exploit in the original Quest for Glory 2 that you could just constantly grab beard from him, so good way of earning money, but it's not available in the remake. Um, so we will uh, wander back into the desert here in the next episode, and we will uh, do some exploration. Um, oh, I don't have enough mana anymore. Cool. 
Yeah, I figured that I didn't have very much mana, so um, that's why I was practicing some magic. So, but yeah, I think, like I said, next episode we will come in and we will uh, do some more fights. Um, I'm trying to kind of build up my magic skill while I have the ability to right now. So, I can't really do it otherwise. I'm be able to get four, five casts off before I run out of mana. There you go. Got my magic back up to 33 now, so that's good. Um, well, up to 33 now, so that's not too shabby. Um, but yeah, I think I'll go ahead and end this off here. Uh, if you enjoyed... Uh, feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist. And in the next episode, we will uh, go do some more fights. So, with that, I'll see you all next time. See you later.